This is Detroit's Belle Isle Park. Last summer, a single mom named Alexandria Steele thought it was the safest place she could bring her three children. Alexandria and her husband had been married for 16 years. One day, he simply left. He abandoned the family, and Alexandria spiraled into what she calls a mental breakdown. You see, she'd lost her job, she'd been kicked out of her home, and she had nowhere else to go. She slept here with her kids in her van. Three kids and you in this car. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Uh, crowded. Can you show me how you all sat That's in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right here, was, this was basically where I slept. I would let my seat back a little bit for some leg room. My daughter would do the same. She would let her seat back and rest the seat back. And my, one of my sons would be on this metal seat here. The first night, when you realize you're gonna have to sleep in here, what, what was that like? A lot of tension, a lot of arguing yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Now that guy was scary. So first time I was shopping, we had peanut butter and crackers in a little box <laughs> on top of our suitcase. That was dinner? Lunch. Yep. First couple of days we stayed, it was school days. We made it to school on time. You made it to school on time even though you were mm -hmm. sleeping in, in the car? Mm -hmm. Nobody would really notice that we slept in the car because we kept ourselves clean and neat. While the kids were at school, Alexandria did cleanup jobs at construction sites for extra money. And did it seem like there was no way out? I couldn't even believe I was there. But having the kids with me just kind of made it seem unreal. How could this have happened? I didn't see an end in sight. Did you feel guilty at times? Yeah, every single day. Sometimes I found it hard to even look at them. Why? Because these are people I brought in the world, and I'm responsible for them, to feed them, to clothe them, to, to house them, and everything, and I couldn't do that. Now, that's been a failure to me. Thanks to Mom's Place, a community organization that helps single mothers get back on their feet, Alexandria now lives in her own home. She's working part-time and is back in school. We've got over 10,000 people homeless in Detroit every night. 10,000. Are there a lot of single moms with kids out there? That's probably the majority of what's out there. The majority? Um, the majority. And most of them are not addicted to any substance. They are not mentally ill. They lost the house because they lost the job. I mean, compared to what you had been through to where you are now, I mean, do you want to forget those times or no? No, I don't. Why? Because it keeps me humble. I don't ever want to forget. That it can always happen again. It can happen to anybody. I know uh, lots of people watching around this country and the world are saying, well, well all you got to do is pull yourself up by your bootstraps and all you need to do is work. But what, what uh, struck me so is lots of people make mistakes in their lives they get a break and you get another chance and you get another chance but when you four one strike and you're out and when you don't have a family who loves you or who can care for you the only place to fall back on is the streets and the street is pretty damn hard and what do you think causes the cycle we met a lot of people michelle